Alrighty. What's up, guys? Welcome to Game Roasters, where we all three pick a game that one of us likes, and then the other ones pick it apart, and then at the end, we have a final word. So uh, just remember in this show that um, we're not saying nobody deserves a good roast, mm -hmm. <laughs> or nobody doesn't deserve a good roast, for that matter. You know, even the best paid artists, the most talented people on earth can use a good making fun of every now and then. Exactly. So that's why we roast the game, and then at the end, I, this time, will have the final <laughs> word, because today we're playing Watch Dogs, and I really like Watch Dogs, and Josh and Rusty do not. So, here is the roast, and I'm going to shut up and play, and they are going to do their thing. See, you said that we do not really like like Watch Dogs. Uh, I'm going to correct you slightly and say I, I despise Watch Dogs. <laughs> Watch Dogs really hurt my heart. Because yeah. I thought I was going to get a really cool game about hacking and stuff, but nah, it's just mini games. <laughs> yeah, the hacking's not even really mini games. It's just it's just you stand there and then he hacks for you. It's mostly just like a third person like shooter action action oriented game. It's basically Grand Theft Auto with hacking, but also some Assassin's Creed mixed in there. Because you know Aiden has that goofy ass double like double pop <laughs> collar thing. So inconspicuous. Everyone also, does that, also, right? Yeah, I know, right? Like, uh, also, I need to point out that even though he he is wearing literally the most conspicuous outfit of all time, <laughs> you can get alternate outfits in it, but they all have double pop collars. <laughs> Every single one of them has a double pop collar and a long, really suspicious looking jacket and a hat. <laughs> no one wears a really long jacket. Two popped collars and a hat that is trying to look inconspicuous. <laughs> if I was a police officer, I would stop him just for the sheer fact that he's probably selling guns and drugs to kids. <laughs> you don't do that unless you do that. Yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense. Exactly. Like, it's, also, I need to point out, he has like the most 2000s name of all time, Aiden Pierce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Did you remember in like 2005 when all the girls who were getting pregnant were naming their kids Aiden? It's weird. It is weird. It's weird. There's going to be a slew, in like 20 years, there's going to be a slew of like uh, up and coming businessmen who are just named Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, so, so what are you doing right now? Uh, this is like the beginning uh, and I think I'm about to start. Okay. Shooting here. So it's it's the beginning after like twenty minutes of cutscenes. Yes, unskippable, <laughs> unskippable cutscenes. My and, favorite. And, and mixed in quick time events. I love on. unskippable cutscenes. I know, right? It's what? great. Looks like you're having. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing. It looks like you're having a little bit of trouble. You could lure them with your zero out of ten bullshit. Yeah. Uh, which I assume is like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does your phone, like, have a... Okay, your phone does have a charge. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Yeah. You have to, like, sit at, like, a Starbucks or something to charge <laughs> your phone. <laughs> he would blend right in. <laughs> uh, he's all... Th th one of my major my major things about this game is is all the hackers are, like, the, like, 90s stereotypes of hackers. Exactly. Like, like you have the girl with just a butt-ton of piercings. You have, like, the cool Asian guy. You have Aiden Pierce who wears a fucking bandana over his face just during casual conversations and interactions, apparently. So, like, I feel like he's just been in the game a lot, and, like, he finally just got to the point where it's like, no, still, no one knows my face. Somehow, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it that way forever. <laughs> also, before I need, I need to, I need to specify before we started playing this, we were moving off a, on a file that's almost completely done. He has so many guns. <laughs> oh my god! Why does a hacker need that many guns? Oh wait, that's right. Because this game isn't really about hacking. This game is about just shooting people. murder. This game is about but murder. Vicious murder. <laughs> vicious, vicious murder. Just the most gruesome of murders. <laughs> so, okay. By I, the way, I like how everyone in the city is doing something bad. Uh, like yeah, yeah. they're like deporting people and shit. Yeah. And <laughs> um, also, I I need I need to say sex trafficking. I people. do actually, <laughs> I do actually legitimately like how you can hack into someone's phone or like whoever's standing nearby, and you can get a lowdown on their personality. That's pretty cool. But pretty it's cool. going on the basis that every person has a smartphone. 
which I mean, they don't. I was going to say, it's 2016. It is 2016, but, but. I mean, I still know, like, I, I know at least six old dudes who have never used a smartphone ever. That's true. I, I, I know at least my, three my dad of those. Hasn't. I know at least three of those old dudes don't even have cell phones. So. Um, I know at least ten people who aren't doing bad shit on their smartphone. You do? Yeah, well, that's, that's weird. well, like not criminal. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure everyone, everyone does something bad on their smartphone, just not like criminal illicit activities. Unless you count spanking it <laughs> as criminal illicit activities. Um, yeah, but so basically, the story, if I'm correct, Aiden committed a robbery. He committed a felony, and um, after that, someone sent someone to kill him or like his family and they accidentally murdered his niece is that right they i think they were sent to kill him but then they accidentally killed his family okay okay and so now he's kind of batman robin hood in the digital era okay i i can get down with that i one thing i can't really get down however is with is the innocent of murder security or the murder of innocent security guards like it's just not gonna murder these ones. That's your choice, I think. <laughs> <laughs> They're just doing their job, right? Also, can we talk about the driving mechanics in this game and how fucking awful they are? Like, I mean, good god! Like, I played GTA before, so I was pretty good at the driving mechanics. <laughs> yeah, it, it, they're okay. The, the driving mechanics in this are a little different than the ones in GTA because GTA, the driving mechanics, they're the same basic. Like style, but the driving mechanics in GTA just feel more natural, better. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're in Chicago, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Are you at Navy Pier? I've been to Navy Pier. It kind of looks like you're at Navy Pier. Huh. Anyways, um, so um, yeah, you're in Chicago, which. That's cool, I guess. I like the fact that they didn't use, like, a fictional city. They used, like, a real city. Like, that's pretty cool. Um. Just taking this car. <laughs> oh, yay. Driving. I like how they give you an obstacle uh, obstacle course immediately after pulling out of, like, immediately as you pull out of the garage, you have to dodge, like, six parked cars. Um, I like to think that, like, He's at least been busted by the cops for texting and driving at least once. Yeah, at least, at least once. once. Also, is it worse to text and drive or hack and drive? I kind of feel like hacking requires a bit more. One's illegal, one's just frowned upon. <laughs> I mean, like, you can hack and drive and that's not illegal. Hacking's illegal. Yeah, the hacking and driving, the act of hacking, hacking and driving, driving itself isn't illegal. It's just severely looked down upon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... Okay. Quick, I have to stop the traffic lights so the police will stop at the red light and stop <laughs> chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> You're committing so much property damage right now. I'm pretty sure if you had just, like, hung out where the police were at the area and just, like, stayed there and be like, I don't know what's going on, it would have been <laughs> way less suspicious than you driving like a maniac yeah. down the streets of Chicago. <laughs> And, like, this is supposed to be, like, a highly, uh, like, advanced Chicago with technology, right? That mm -hmm. everything's, like, yeah, everything, put together everything's and shit. Yeah, everything's networked. Including, it, well, except for apparently payphones. Apparently payphones aren't networked. Which. Why is know. there payphones yeah, when why? everyone has smartphones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're, like, connected. Eh, maybe just, like, old-timey sake. And this is the stack value also, of it. Also, my issue right now with the, like, look... The explore that thing. You explore that thing, you <laughs> motherfucker. Good. My, my issue right now with the aesthetic of Chicago is there are entirely too little homeless people <laughs> in this game for it I've to be accurate. I've been to Chicago. I've been to Chicago, and there's more homeless people than there are people living in buildings. <laughs> <laughs> almost got mugged in Chicago one time. Also, the... His apartment looks like the most stereotypical hacker apartment of all time. There's just posters there's just, with, like, lines yeah, connected and, and there's shit. just, like, six different monitors. He really only needs, at like, maximum three monitors. He only need one chain. Who's, 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 who's Jackson? His son. Oh, okay. he has a son? Mm -hmm. Dead son? I'm gonna just ignore my family <clears throat> yeah, to I have avenge no clue. the death of my other family. 
you know, forget about the ones that are alive for the ones that are dead. <laughs> well, of course, revenge is a very important key in video it's games. It's weird that I'm making fun of his. It's it's kind of weird that I'm making fun of his uh, of his grievances, right? But like his like home life and at shit. At the same time, man, <laughs> get a fucking bed first off, Jesus <laughs> Christ. He's got there's his bed. No, like one of those fold away beds. Get a real bed. You're a goddamn gr- okay, real bed. Okay, cool. Real bed. Okay, you can cool. rest in the bed too. That's okay, nice. cool. Get your shit off of your bed. Get your life together. Why do you need eight computers in your house? <laughs> because, man, this is how you hack. That's you how know? you hack. Just putting computers together and waiting for something to happen. That's do how it. you hack. Do the hacking for me. <laughs> okay. So we got a cool skill tree of hacking. Yeah. Is there a different hacking you can become good at? Like, can you hack, like, a Jamba Juice? <laughs> <laughs> or, like, hack a Paxon. I'm pretty sure... Because Aiden is, like, one of the world's premier hackers, right? So I'm pretty sure he could just hack a Paxon or Jamba Juice in his spare time. Like, I don't know what the fuck that me. means, but he can do it. Well, I don't know either, but yeah, apparently he could do it. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure, like, hacking... Hacking, like, the the Pentagon is his, like, next... His next thing. Like, the next step up. Also, this game's secretly an Assassin's Creed game. Like... They're We're all aware, aware of that. that, right? We're all aware yeah. of that, right? <laughs> it was made by Ubisoft, correct? Yeah, Just and to make like sure the the corporation that's in Black Flag and shit is in this, and like uh, Abstergo. Yeah, like it is secretly an Assassin's Creed game. Like we're all aware of that. Yeah, I cause... do think it would be cool if they made a crossover game, a crossover Assassin's Creed Watch Dogs game. That would be kind of cool. First five minutes, get stabbed. Yeah, Hidden Blade. Different ways you can be assassin. Watch Dogs 2, Assassin's Creed 7. <laughs> <laughs> 7? Try like 10 by then? I thought Syndicate was like 6. I Okay, there was Assassin's Creed, there was the... Don't care, this game ba- those games are bad. <laughs> I mean, continue to go fuck yourself. <laughs> continue to be fucking yourself. I like the goat. Lammy has entirely too little blood on her for that wreck. <laughs> <laughs> dead super super dead yeah all of six lana pierce sounds like a porn star name yeah we're like <laughs> a superhero love interest yeah of like superman yeah right yeah no because then it'd just be Lana lance yeah or, or lana lang lana lang expired work visa <laughs> So I'm assuming that this. What does that say? What is what is what was his occupation? Store guester, I think. What? what? I don't know. <laughs> this is what it said <laughs> in my brain. Just punch that dude. Punch that dude right there. Hit him. Just go up and punch him. P is allowed. I can't play open world games because it turns me into a violent psychopath. Literally, like uh, Grand Theft Auto, it takes me about. Three minutes to just start mowing down innocents in the street. <laughs> My thing is, how can you know if someone's an alcoholic just by, like, looking in their phone? Because, like, maybe they drunk text a lot. Like, <laughs> entirely too much. You're like, this dude has a problem. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, maybe they're in AA meetings. Maybe they're getting okay. updates from AA meetings. That makes meetings. sense. Still, dude, what's the matter? That phone shatter your ankles. You're not in that good of shape. Dude, you have Steal to stop this that car. Bl- Taking your car, it's for the greater good. <laughs> Don't ask. I like the thing that Aiden just accepts that he's a dick with that. When it comes to that, it's like, yeah. I'm just gonna take your car, yeah. I don't care. I had a really hard time, like, sympathizing with Aiden, because I'm like, you're you're, you're a bad person. You're just kind of a penis. You, you just murder indiscriminately, you steal people's cars, you spy on people. You, 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 no, he doesn't spy on people. He spies on everyone. You, everyone. If you can spy on him, he will. Just also, by like, looking you, at your you, phone. You, you'd steal. You're a thief. Like, you're a thief by trade. He's an anti-hero, I guess. But even in some anti... Most anti-heroes have, like, morals. Uh, okay, so... He's a choreographer. Let's fuck him up. Well, she yeah. is. Ugh. Crime probability. Or you, Don't intervene. There's uh, no point in you intervening. He's just doing what you do, but a little more violent. 
You see, the cool thing is, like, okay, so is this guy, like, um, was this criminal, like, is he just an average everyday criminal, or? The one you're chasing mm-hmm. down? Okay, so why didn't you just call Oops. for help from everyone around you? <laughs> why did you have to be a dickhead? You could have just been like, hey, quit that shit! <laughs> but no, instead you gotta blow up a tank and cause a bunch of property damage. That you yeah. ruined the guy who has to fix you, that thing. You did a worse crime than he was committing. He was smugging her. You, like, caused, like, serious property damage. <laughs> also, not to mention the possibility of shrapnel just flying into yeah. them. <laughs> Oop, that was that an was insane the- <laughs> jump kick. Oh my god! I'm not even mad about that. That was cool. <laughs> and he's dead. dead. Leave him there. Leave him there. You just murdered that guy. Bitch is going increased. I was really hoping that car was just gonna run him over. Also, I like the pedestrian. She's like, yeah, this is an average day in Chicago. I just watched one guy bash another dude's skull <laughs> in in the middle of the street. With a nightstick. A foldable yeah. nightstick. Little do we know Chicago is just Mad Max land. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you guys ready? Yes, I'm yes. ready for you to tell us why All we're right, stupid. Alright, now it's my turn. First of all, this game is... I can understand why people dislike it because... Um, Ubisoft made the unfortunate mistake of basically calling this a Grand Theft Auto killer, which is literally not possible. That game has sold 70 million copies. <laughs> but this game does some shit really cool. These car chases, intervening with your phone, is makes car chases some of the coolest since like Need for Speed. Because it adds this layer that you don't get in other... like It's unscripted and... Um, I think it just makes them really intense and, and memorable because it, um, you, I don't know, the unscripted part is what I like the best. You know, Grand Theft Auto car chases, they're all scripted and, you know, this is this is stuff that, opportunities that you make because you have the choices, you know. This game gives a lot of choice and, um, in terms of, like, how you approach things, with which games like Grand Theft Auto don't really um, there's a lot of missions where you can just be completely stealthy. There's uh, a lot of car chases that can play out a completely different number of ways. Um, the story, once it gets all the way through, is actually like a really interesting kind of like Batman, Robin Hood sort of um, Kickstarter to an interesting franchise, I think. Also, Rusty, you like Assassin's Creed. You basically <laughs> like a hot chick's fat friend. <laughs> For starters. <laughs> She's got more personality. <laughs> Don't judge. Um, but no, I think this game has a lot of really, really cool aspects to it. I, I like the traversal. Um, the phone makes it, I don't know, to me, oh man, ran his ass over. Dead. The phone aspect to me makes it And, yeah, you guys don't um, even play open world games because <laughs> you actually suck at games in general. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm really good at them all, clearly. <laughs> no, I've actually been really bad at Watch Dogs. But um, in terms of open world games, like I, I can't really think of many that do as much shit that's like really interesting and cool like Watch Dogs does. Granted, execution isn't great, but I I like a lot of things that it did, and I it sold really really well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just fucking murdered her. That was badass. <laughs> I do like that. Like indiscriminately killing people makes you a worse person. Like yes. civilian killed, your reputation down. They are punishing me. Yeah, because you're basically a hero. You're basically going to turn into a hero, like a superhero, but Ooh. with a phone. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, that's what I think. I think um, 
Watch Dogs is actually a pretty cool game and a, the start of a pretty cool series. And um, we are glad that you guys were able to watch this and listen to us make fun of each other. Mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> thanks, and we will for sure be doing more of this show. So thanks.